Efren with Pat Crack Fever. We're back and we're cracking a Throne of Eldraine Gift Edition bundle. Uh, so let's get cracking. Let me see if I can get a good shot of this. It's hard with the, the glare, but uh, the box is really cool. It's a foil box. I don't know if you've seen these around. I thought for sure these would be sold out everywhere, but uh, they're actually still pretty easy to find. So I went ahead and picked one up. I haven't cracked any Throne of Eldraine, I think. Uh, I think actually one pack. <laughs> is all I cracked. Uh, so we're going to crack this and hopefully have some fun. Um, I was going to crack Theros, but uh, the value really isn't there for Theros. It's kind of tanking pretty quickly. And Throne of Eldraine has got a lot of great cards. You know, Great Hinge, Ember Cleave. Uh, even Oko, even though it's banned in British Battery format, still, you know, a $15, $16 card. Uh, so we'll see what we can get. And I think the storybook frame is really cool compared to uh, the Theros Constellation art. I think it's way better. So, we got the blue scissors as you can see. Make quick work of this plastic. And let's take a look at the gift edition box. So the insert, as you can see, is foil. And then supposedly the box for the fat pack itself is also foil. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm a sucker for uh, shiny things. And uh, this looks like it's right up my alley. A really neat looking box uh, with that art there. And there's the fat pack. Wow, that is really cool. Uh, so this has got a little, oh, it's got a little print of, uh, oh, it's got two of them. I don't know what card that is. That's the Brazen, oh, no, this isn't Brazen, but it's Flaxen Intruder. Uh, that's pretty neat. I didn't know I was going to have that. I don't know what card this is, though. Not off the top of my head, anyways. Uh, and then in here, I guess the inside is not foil. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything that it comes with. This is the first gift edition bundle, but uh, the art is pretty cool. I forget the name of that artist. Uh, Alex Diaz, right? Dos Diaz. Made that alternate art just for uh, this product. And I think there's a play mat that's got that same art on it. Um, so that's really neat. I really like that. Uh, but let's get to the packs. That's what we're all here for. I'm not here for inserts. We're here to... Either lose some money, probably lose some money if you're familiar with this channel, but we're here to open some packs and have some fun. So we'll, we'll take a look at everything we got here. We got this really cool oversized dial. Let me see if I can get a like a focus on that. Uh, still not used to this camera quite yet, but let's see if we can get a good shot of that. That is really uh, cool looking, kind of translucent uh, die, like similar to the um, Our Devastation ones but really beautiful looking that is probably one, one of the favorite die that i own now oversized also as they're doing now we got a pack of lands here then we got the promo piper of the swarm and i don't know if this is more lands it looks like it let's see i'll open it up and find out we got the bundle promo piper of the swarm uh so that's pretty cool i don't think that has any value oh yeah and all foil uh, lands so we got foils to spare here. That is really cool Mark Pool art. I really love that art. Uh, so these come with foil lands now and then a pack of non-foil. So that's pretty neat. And let's get started with the packs. We'll save the collector's booster for last, right? That's going to be where all the excitement lies. Here's a good look at the foil box. Pretty neat. The foil and not fat fat boxes now. Uh, we got 10 packs here. So let's uh, get cracking. Now, I saw Zuby cracking on... Uh, Twitch the other day. And he just goes straight to the back of the pack, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna flip it over. And I don't know how many you're supposed to count. What is it? Three, four? Well, there's uh, a. <laughs> we got a storybook one. Okay, so we did five there. Uh, so we got a glass casket, and we got the Flaxen Intruder with the storybook frame. That's the first storybook frame art uh, that I own. Since I've never cracked any, and I haven't needed any for decks yet. Uh, Castle Garenbrig is our rare. I don't think that has a lot of value. So we're picking up right where we left off here in Pack Hack Fever. With our first pack. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, five. Okay, five is what we want. We got Keeper of Fables. Overwhelmed Apprentice, Slaying Fire. Dance of the Mance is our rare with the forest and a 
adventure token. Pretty neat, nothing of great value though. I don't think there's any commons worth paying attention to in this set. Since I can't think of any off the top of my head. And we blew it, we didn't go to the back, so. <laughs> Wander Mare. Sir Lenora. The Mad Ratter. Acclaimed Contender is our rare. It's not hidden any of the Chase Rares, as we're known for. On Pack Rack Fever. But having some fun. I haven't cracked like this in a while. Let's go right to the next one. Boom 5 out Injual Innkeeper. Thunder Snapper. Uh, Blacklands Paragon, which I love the art for this card. Um, I wish this art was in a storybook frame because I just love that. Looks like it's out of uh, like a Sleeping Beauty animation, Disney cell or something. I really love that. With an island and a food token. So Blacklands Paragon is played in standard, but I don't know that it has any value. So so far, striking out here. We got a while to go, and we do have the collector's booster. Ember Shieldbreaker, Giant Opportunity, Cauldron Familiar, and Aaron Crag Pyromancer is the rare with a swamp and a food token. So far, not wowing me. We haven't had a mythic, although I guess we don't necessarily aren't going to get one because it's a bundle, not a booster box. So, Inquisitive Puppet. Steel Claw Lance. All that glitters. It's a good one. Playable. Return of the Wild Speaker is the rare. Whoa! With a foil storybook <laughs> brazen borrower. So that paid for the whole thing. Uh, let me find a sleeve. Because this thing belongs in a sleeve, if not a museum. Holy cow. So this is... Um, Alternate frame foil, like $60, $70 maybe. Uh, let me find a, a, a sleeve. <laughs> That's one of the best cracks we've ever had on this channel. Wow, how is that for a crack, huh? I don't think that this pack is gonna beat out the collector's booster probably, look at that. Got a sleeve here and that is a beaut. The storybook frames are incredible, and this is probably the best one you can hope to crack, I think. This might be the most valuable card in the in the whole thing now that Oka's been. Wow. <laughs> so that was great. <laughs> Let's save the entire video. Hey, we still got three more to go plus the collector's booster, so the, everything here is just icing on the cake. That was an amazing... Uh, <laughs> I did not expect that. All right, so we got Shepherd of the Flock, Wintermore Commander, Lock Dragon, and our rare is another Dance of the Mance. <laughs> so can't really complain anymore after we get that Brazen Borrower. Uh, in fact, I'm going to keep it right here so it's on camera the entire time. It's got to help with the views, right? People getting to look at a foil Brazen Borrower. All right, we got another Flaxen Intruder. So we got the regular and the storybook one, right? Into the Story, it's a good card, not very valuable. Uh, Sir Conrad, and our rare is Fabled Passage. So we hit another pretty good rare. I think this is one of the more valuable ones. Uh, yeah, this is a, <laughs> that's pretty good. It's like a, what, 16, $17 card? That's a great one. So we're doing good here. That should probably be in the sleeve, but we'll just put it right there on top of the field passage. So, wow, we were hitting, uh, this collector's booster is a, I mean, collector's, uh, bundle, uh, was a total success so far. We haven't even got to the good pack. 
I don't think the pack could live up to what we've already opened, but maybe we'll get really lucky. Epic Downfall. Mad Ratter. Archon of Absolution. And Fae of Wishes is our rare. Uh, so that's not that great a rare. Uh, but we can't really complain. Uh, because these two more than paid for the whole thing. And now we have the Collector's Boost. So this is the first ever Collector's Boost I've opened. So I know there's a bunch of foils in here and um, chance for a non-foil of the Brawl Commanders and uh, not sure what else is guaranteed in here, but it should be shiny uh, at the very least. So let's open the Collector's Booster. Oh, and it's upside down. Okay. So we're starting off with a foil Mystic Sanctuary. Now, is Mystic Sanctuary the one of these that's actually... Uh, Valuable in foil? I think it is. I think that's a like five dollar foil. Because it's one of the best one of the better ones of these. Uh okay, so Mystic Sanctuary is our first foil. So that's a foil common. Memory theft. Uh spore cap spider. Uh so far the uh mystery is our best one. So here's a storybook foil. Uh Smitten Swordmaster. I don't think Aside from the storybook frame, it's very coveted. Uh, Searing Barrage foil. Another foil common. Lots of foil commons here. Didn't say please. Uh, foiling process is actually pretty nice on these uh, Eldraine cards. Like I said, this is my first time cracking Eldraine. So. Prophet of the Peak. Artifact Cat, huh? Arcanist Owl. Beautiful art and foil. The foil really pops on this uh, set, huh? They did a great job. Sorcerer's Broom. So we got a foil uncommon, and so is Arcanist Owl. So another foil uncommon. Uh, Merchant of the Veil vale storybook art. This is card is played a lot, but I don't think uh, it's very valuable. Maybe the storybook one is. Uh, but I don't think it's super valuable. Arden Veil vale Tactician. So we got another storybook. Story book common. Another smitten swordmaster. Uh, Gluttonous troll is our rare. Now is that one of the ones that show up in the supplement packs? Uh, Gilded goose extended art. And an opportunistic dragon foil is going to finish off uh, the pack with a foil bear token. So I do think the Brazen Borrower pack is going to be the most uh, valuable pack here. <clears throat> uh, so I don't think we're going to do top 8 because I, <laughs> I think there's pretty much uh, Brazen Borrower and Fable Passage are where it's at here. Uh, Gilded Goose, let me just take a look at it real quick. I'm not sure I've already put it on the screen, but Gilded Goose. Extended Art, yeah okay so $13, $13 card as you saw there. Uh, so this was a <laughs> pretty good pack. It was one of my better cracks I've ever seen. Uh, I've ever had on this channel. So uh, this is definitely Pack Crack Fever. I'll be probably trading most of this away on Card Sphere. Uh, especially this Brazen Borrower. I don't really play blue. Uh, so uh, this is just going to fund my account and maybe build a commander deck. Uh, this is definitely with Pack Crack Fever. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time. Okay, so we're back. I got so excited... <laughs> about the Brazen Borrow that I actually forgot to open a pack. Uh, so we got one more pack to go, actually, in this crack. So this uh, seems to be the gift bundle that keeps on giving. Uh, so we're back with one more pack. Bonus footage, if you stayed till the end, this is like, uh, you know, when you stay after in a Marvel movie and you see the extra after credit scene? That's what you're seeing right now, only for the true pack crack for your fans. Fireborn Knight, Beanstalk Giant, here we got uh, another storybook art. And let's see what our rare is. Escape to the Wilds. Not a great one, but uh, this was uh, just considered a bonus <laughs> crack at this point. Uh, from Fat Crack Fever, signing off for real this time. We'll see you next time.